everyone, it's Imelda here from Two Scrappy Sisters with another process video for you. Um, I am actually the layout you just saw was not my layout. That's the inspiration for this layout that I had. Um, I am participating in a challenge on scrapbook.com to scrap lift your favorites. And that layout there titled Darling was uh, actually probably my very favorite that I've seen on scrapbook.com and it is by Chris Ferrick uh, so I will link that below for you um, so you just saw me there uh, prepping my page with gesso and I am going to trim my photo this is a photo of my sister Emma um, and my son Leo at the beach this past summer um, and he just loves her she's so cute um, so I wanted to leave the white border on my photo but I think I pressed too hard while I was trimming so it left a mark on the top of the photo so I had to go ahead and trim that so it got rid of my border um, so I just sprayed my page with water and now I'm using some mist I use the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Patina and I'm also using some Heidi Shine Sweet Cherry here so I'm just splattering it and then I'm going to use more water um, so that it can blend through and then I let it dry and I went back and did some more splatters and I wanted a couple of bigger ones um, so I just did that right onto the page and I'm soaking up with some paper towel just because I didn't want to wait um, for it to dry although I think I did use my heat tool and had it dry some more and then I went back and did more splatters so I got this uh, cloud stencil oh sorry my head there um, I have this cloud stencil that I got in one of the kits from Studio Calico this year I think it was this year earlier this year sometime um, and I really wanted to use that uh, since we're at the beach um, and I don't know the clouds kind of just white clouds for, for a sunny day I guess so um, so I just covered the ones that I didn't want because I just wanted them here and there um, so each time I am going in and cleaning it with a baby wipe and covering the ones I don't want to fill in and placing it there found this was really helpful actually too because it kind of kept my stencil in place at the same time that was good so I'm just putting actually a lot of gesso on there uh, just because I did want that dimension okay so I've let it dry and I'm bringing my photo um, and I'm just going to try and decide what pages I want to use. Um, I think it's going to be Everyday Eclectic and The Here and Now by Lori Whitlock, which is this page here. Um, and some Hello Summer as well. Uh, that yellow page I really loved uh, the way it looked. Um, but I don't use yellow a lot, so I was a little bit hesitant on that. Um, so I've brought out, again, some more Hello Summer collection I think here and I'm just trying to decide what I want to back my photo onto. Um, I do go with this yellow page. Um, it's yellow with white hearts on it uh, but it's a darker yellow. So I start off with that as well as that pink from the Everyday Eclectic 6x6 paper pack um, but then I do change out that yellow for the brighter one. So since I had to cut out my uh, white border, I'm just going to back it onto some white cardstock to begin with before I back it onto the yellow and pink papers. So I'm just using my ATG gun there and backing that onto the white for the border. figure out what size I need this yellow paper to be. Um, like I said, I don't end up using it. It stays there for a while, but I do change it out for something a little brighter. So 
I am lifting uh, the layout you saw in the beginning. So the design process is not being that difficult for me. It's just um, it was more about the embellishments um, because I didn't want a lot of the kind of watercolor look and the, the splatters in the background. So I thought it was too heavy with that and then put more um, more embellishments. So you see there, um, I did switch out the yellow and I like that better. I'm adding a doily. Um, after I did the splatters, I sprayed it with water some more so that it would bleed together a little bit better. Um, and I let that dry again. So that was a long process. Wet and dry, wet and dry. <laughs> so I had to come back to it a couple of times. Okay, so I'm just layering here. That pink tag there is a uh, gift tags that I got from Michaels. Um, and I don't end up using it. And I'm also pulling out a bunch of these printables that I had printed a while ago. Um, I think I found them on Pinterest and they were just free printables. So I printed them at Staples on some cardstock. So I'm just adding a little doily here. And uh, the, this is a Heidi Swap um, acetate banners. They're really nice. This is actually the first one I've used. I've had them for a long time, um, but they never seem to be matching with anything that I'm making, so I've had it for a long time. So I'm just trying to decide what font and thickers I want to use. These are um, some, let me see which ones they are, some Heidi Swap thickers is the ones that I end up going with. Um, but I also had these Dear Lizzie teal thickers, um, as well as some Amy Tangerine thickers. Um, but I liked the color pink in this one. It went better with, with the Heidi Shine that I had used, as well as the pink paper that's on the page. So my title is going to be um, A Boy and His Thea. Thea in Spanish is Aunt. I was going to say um, A Boy and His Aunt, but that's not what we call um that's not what my son calls my sister, so he calls her Tia Emma. So I liked this title better because it was more personal for us. Um, it just made more sense because that's what we call her. So I'm pretty happy with the, um, the positioning. So I'm going to start adhering some of this stuff. Um, off camera I did adhere some foam onto the back of the photo. So I'm just going to add some of these tags, these, um, I think they're meant to be Project Life cards, uh, but I don't do Project Life, so I just use them in my scrapbooking. Um, I really like that teal love with the black and white sunburst behind it, so I'm going to save the other piece. Um, and this card here is just white, and it's got, it's a sunshine in a script font. So I'm going to add that to the bottom there and then put it all together. And I rounded the corners there um, just to give it a little bit of interest. Everything else is pretty squared off. Um, so I just rounded the corner on that one. Uh, here I'm adding some more foam. I wanted um, a little bit more height and dimension uh, between the layers. I'm going to do that. Um, I find that my ATG gun, when I'm adding foam, it kind of, it doesn't stick very well. Um, so I usually add it to the paper and then add the foam on top of that. Um, but then I have some issues when I'm adhering onto the page. Um, so I try as much to add the adhesive onto the page and then, and not, sorry, and not directly onto the foam because it kind of peels up a little bit, I find. Uh, let me know if you have the same issue and how you deal with that because sometimes it's really it's really annoying. Okay, so here I'm just using some clear wet adhesive to um, adhere this banner. And I just want to make sure that it is pretty parallel and straight with the page. I'm going to add my title, make sure it's all straight and neat. Um, because there's a lot of gesso and mist on this side of the page, I am going to adhere it with uh, some Scotch Quick Dry. Yes. So I was going to use the, 
the clear glue, but that takes too long to dry. I like the Scotch Quick Dry, so I'm going to use that because it dries faster. I don't know if I make you watch this. I think I sped this up a little bit more, so I am going a little faster here. Yeah, you watch the whole thing. <laughs> so I did put the thickers on some wax paper first just to see the placement. And uh, I'm happy with that, so I went ahead and put some glue. Okay, now here I'm just going to bring in uh, some stickers, embellishments. These are the uh, My Mind's Eye Tiny Word stickers. Um, and I have them in pink. They're the Memorable Perfect uh, in yellow, Remarkable Authentic, and Teal Unforgettable You Are, but I don't end up using any of them. I also have uh, My Mind's Eye label stickers, so Memorable Notes and Remarkable Smile. I don't use any of those either. Um, I have some sticker pages here that I don't take anything off of. I was really struggling with that only because, um, like I said before, the ink is very colorful and it sticks out a lot. Um, and I didn't want to really hide that. I didn't want to take away from it. So my embellishments are very minimal. So there you see that I used the Here and Now by Lori Whitlock. And I took that pink banner and it says... I believe it says remember. Um, so I do use that, although I don't use it where it is right now. Um, and I am taking some of these little butterflies that I thought was really cute for a summer kind of look. And I'm taking some other stickers that don't really make it onto the page. So here um, I found a little sharp black and white chevron, but um like the zigzags were too big, so I didn't end up using that. Um, I do use this one instead. Um, this is from the... It's the uh, sticker accents, the Echo Park sticker accents. This is the pink one I, that I took the black and white one from. Um, and this is the totally teal. So the pink one is the uh, pretty in pink. And then I'm using the totally teal. I take the cloud from that. And I just cut it in half so that I could uh, have two of them instead, which is fine. Okay, so it skipped forward just a little bit here. Um, what you didn't see was that I used um, these tags that I had from a while ago. I don't remember where they were from, um, but there was this little uh, banner. And under it, in the little triangle part, there was this little black and white triangle. So I really liked that part, so I cut that out save the banner for something else and I'm going to put that in the bottom um, this little yellow pocket says heart this um, and because it's shaped like a pocket the bottom is kind of shaped like a little arrow so I wanted to keep that at the top so I removed the remember um, sticker from the top and I'm putting that in the bottom and I'm going to staple this with my tiny attacher the yellow one that says love this on the top so I just wanted to uh, direct your the eye, I guess, more towards the center of the page as opposed to um, away from the focus. So I did back the uh, Remember sticker on uh, some foam. And then I added some Close to My Heart uh, Jewel Flares there. It's actually just one, the heart. It's like looks like a crystal gem type of thing. Add the triangle and then the banner that says remember onto the bottom there. Uh, here I thought I wanted to uh, peel up the adhesive back because I just did add some uh, baby powder to remove the adhesive before just so I can play around with the placement of it and then uh, I thought I wanted to remove it and glue it down but it wasn't coming up so easy so I just left it. Um, the butterflies I just glued on to just down the center of the butterflies, not the wings, so that I can pinch up the wings and give it a little bit more dimension. Okay, so I'm just uh, sticking down the banner a little bit better on the left side since it didn't it didn't adhere very well. So that was basically the layout. So I'm going to move on to my journaling here. Uh, my journaling says 
out. We try to go to Sabo Beach every year with the family for camping. Here you are with Tia Emma. We just love her. Um, yeah, so sorry, it says you just love her. Um, but who doesn't? She's just awesome. So this day, um, actually, my husband and I went for a walk. Um, kids didn't want to go, so they stayed back with my sister. And they had come back, and they had dug this huge hole. Um, so the kids really were just enjoying being with with Tia Emma and her boyfriend. Um, so it was a lot of fun. They really loved it. So we took some pictures. Um, I have some other pictures of the huge hole that they dug with them in it. Um, so I'll have to scrap that as well. But I really liked this picture. I really liked the way it turned out in black and white as well. I feel like um, with all the colors on the layout, it's not taking away from the picture. It's not competing with the colors in the photo. Um, and I think in black and white, because it's the only black and white thing, it really stands out. So I'm just trimming um, my typing here. And I'm going to place on the bottom of the page. I kind of made a mistake with the typing. Um, I put a period instead of a comma, and then I didn't use a capital to start my next sentence. So what I'm doing here is I am just um, I'm just changing that period into a comma, and I thought I wanted to add an exclamation mark at the end, which for some reason my typewriter doesn't seem to have an exclamation mark button. So I want I thought I could do it in pencil, but I didn't really like the way that looked, so I didn't do that in the end. Um, here I was hoping to use my T-square ruler just to make sure that it's all lined up, but the button, the heart that I used was too too big and it was in the way of the ruler, so it wasn't letting me line it up properly. So I just didn't do that. I left it for now. And that's the layout. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe our channel and we will hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!